Everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. Last week, Ebony had a developer's call, and this week they released the results of it in terms of their plan, like what thoughts they uh, cared about from the players, what their plans are going forward, what they're going to implement, how, that sort of stuff. We're going to take a look at their response. It's always interesting to see. Also, yesterday I had a video on ebonyscout.com. Link to it's in the description to the video. It will help you uh, basically make your alliance professional. Find all the monsters for you, bubble drops, farm tiles, mysterious witches, anything on the map that you struggle to find that you want for a small fee. It's very good. More information about it in my Discord as well. Discord's in the, in the introduction to the channel as well in the video. So uh, let's look at exactly what Ebony released in terms of uh, developer call. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five sections. First one is thoughts and suggestions on new equipment features, civilization. So it does appear that they're going to uh, release it, some in battlefield, some in the new battlefield. So let's look at it here. Add ways to get civilization equipment. Rewards of the new battlefield will include original events will increase the output. So the only original events that have it are the wheel. Uh, people have been complaining that the drop rate is very low. So... Uh, yeah, so I guess maybe that will increase, but the, but there's no other ways to get it for free. And the new Battlefield actually seems like it costs money. So kind of doesn't seem like anything's going to be for free. Because the new Battlefield, I was fortunate enough to play it. If you wanted to see the video, go back a few days. I think it was called Battle of Civilization. And when you go to enter, it said you needed a token. But they waived that for the new servers for the trial event. So I think on new servers, you're going to, or like if it expands to all servers, which it sounds like it's going to, you're going to need a token to play. And you'll probably get that in packs purchasing. So uh, add ways to get meteoric stones. Meteoric stones will be added to crafting master event shop. Not the crafting master, master shop where you redeem rewards, I don't think. I think it's going to be the one that pops up when you are crafting or the one where you go on the shop and have to buy uh, stuff. So, okay. Amplify and upgrading equipment will get the crafting scores. Yeah, so that's a that's a good uh, thing. In the, So basically, all you can do is craft new gear for rewards in that event for rankings. But that's kind of a minor update. The refinement range should be expanded to 30% after the red set is upgraded. That They're talking about Ares and uh, Achaemenidae. And no, that's just not going to happen because then it's the same as civilization gear. New generals should have more support for carrying dragons. Uh, more generals will have this in the future. That's really nothing. That's just like their special skill. We'll say it actually kind of restricts generals. I kind of don't like that. I kind of would rather just have a general have really good skills and no addition for the dragon, especially if you want to use them as an assistant. Equipment should increase the refinement cap by a fixed value. No planning. No plan at the time. Now here. Thoughts and suggestions on level 45. Version... Council of State, New Tech. Okay, so this is kind of a funny one. Increase the output of Blood of Errors. No. Increase the output of Gold, Tactic Scrolls, and Speed Ups. They will increase level 6, Yemer and Pan. will have new Gold events. So, new Gold events will be money, of course. Increase, uh, so, little tip. I said this quite a while ago. Don't open your level 6 Pan and Yemer boxes and Hydra and... Uh, Warlord, Witches, Sphinx 7, all the highest levels that aren't dropping a lot, if you can and you don't need those items, save them. Because I always thought Ebony was going to increase that. It might only be one tactic scroll, but still, it's something. Ideal land buffs are expensive and ineffective, and prices don't match the value. They will optimize it in the future. Yeah, but they're not going to give them for free. It's always going to be on the wheel. So, thoughts on past events. So, this is all sorts of stuff. Hell Viking is difficult. Mismatch from gold to wounded. Will adjust. And at level 35 and above. Will increase the value of the final challenge rewards for level 40. Okay, let's see it. Increase rewards for all new bosses. Will increase the number of tactic scrolls and yemers. So that's it. Will optimize the experience of expeditions and can buy daily items with gems. So this is the one where it spins and you get the compass. So... 
uh, the compass would open up all of the items. So I guess they're going to fix that. I guess Ebony really likes that event. They want to keep giving it to us, even though every, everyone has said, we don't want this. This stinks. The lower limit of 20 players' entries in Alliance Duel restricts small alliances from participating and should have a cap entry value instead of lower limit. We'll adjust the minimum. So that's kind of like how Ebony made Battlefield for top 20 on the server instead of top 10 for a long time. Increase some exchange rewards, shorten calculation time, will optimize experience. And by the way, when Ebony did that and they made it so 20 alliances on a server could participate in Battlefield, I actually thought that was a really bad move. It used to force, like when I server merged my first time, people were panicking and had to merge alliances because they were out of the top 10 and couldn't play Battlefield. So it actually forced people to get along. So I kind of liked the smaller restriction of Battlefield on server. So let's get in Viking Rally two minutes. No. Thoughts on SVS Battlefield All-Star Shallons. Lag remains a problem. We'll continue to optimize. New rewards added to major Battlefield finals to encourage players to achieve higher rankings. Ranking rewards will be adjusted at the 11th All-Star. So 11th All-Star meaning the upcoming All-Star. Uh, what people are complaining about here is those uh, all-star coins that you get for the all-star shop. It's not really an incentive. Like Major League gets less than the uh, Elite League. And people in the Elite League and Junior League have to make like three or four or five all-stars in a row before they can buy a dragon. So they want to shorten that time frame, which is good. And now... Battlefield time reduced from two hours to one. Still under discussion. Now, these ones are under optimization already. Add time options, mentioning, so between time eight and nine, there's a four-hour gap for Battlefield. Implement two time Battlefields instead of one. Players who join slot one cannot join slot two. Slot two. And All-Star and Shallons, Timings need to be different for Major, Elite, and junior, junior. So people suggested spread those out and maybe it'll help with the lag so they don't all play at the same time. And the other ones, I guess people want more battlefield times for their alliances. Yeah, that's a serious issue. That's, uh, that's one reason why lots of alliances don't merge. I'm, I'm certain I could uh, probably get my entire server to merge if it wasn't for battlefield being at different times. Uh, it's a big issue, right? Like, and plus only 20 people can play. So, uh, not sure I could get my server to merge. They, they don't like our alliance very much, but we try. What PvE gameplay or PvP gameplay do you think should be added in the future? So this is where Ebony picks your brain as players and tries to figure out what could we monetize? Tell us what you like. Adding a martial arts arena to allow players to test troops and buffs and debuffs. So that's basically like a test arena. Uh, I don't know why they called it a martial arts arena. Anyways, no plan. Add, so these are things that people asked for. People asked, can we test our buffs in something? So what people asked for, Ebony says no. You'll, you'll notice this in this section. Add troop march speed up bargain packages. We'll increase the amount of free troop march speed ups. Okay. Increase the gold output. We'll have new gold events. Oh, you want gold? We'll charge you for it. That's what they're saying. Increase the output of runestones. Still under discussion. So probably no. At least not the fourth one. Increase the output of waybills. We'll increase the number of waybills in the alliance ranking reward for hydras. So I guess if you're going to be doing well in hydras, you're going to get some waybills for your ults. Introduce new boss only buffs. Already being optimized. So I'm not sure who wants boss only buffs. Okay. Increase the output of stamina. No. Don't add any new gameplay or features. Prioritize fixing current issues like lag and glitch. Will be continuously optimized. <laughs> that, that's a real common complaint. Stop giving us new stuff when the old stuff doesn't work. Upgrading requires so many resources. The players can only raise their own farms, but they will be banned as resource merchants. Still under discussion. So, Ebony, that's alting. Uh, weirdly worded. Uh, people aren't raising the level of their farms. They can only raise their main keep with the help of farms. Ebony said that they are pri they're optimizing their search algorithm that targets players who are selling resource to try and exclude banned play uh people's alts 
They don't want to target alts. They're trying to go after those Vietnamese resource sell sellers or the third-party pack purchases, that sort of stuff. Uh, they got to figure out how to distinguish that. It's really not that hard. Like someone said in the chat, 90% of them are one language. <laughs> Anyways, uh, easy way to get rid of mountains of blue equipment. Yeah, man. Like when you do Wheel of Fortune, you got 2 million chips. Takes you like 20 minutes to get rid of them all. Really awful. March preset copy option of 1,000 same number all tiers. What? I don't know what this is. March preset copy? Okay, got you. So they just want a template for your tier, for your layers. I've always asked for this. I've asked Evan Eve so many times for this. Just give us, just let us put like, yeah, you could just put 1,000 for everything and then adjust like the five ones that are different on each preset. Increase the frequency of player meetings under this I'm being optimized, yeah. So what do I take from all this? Basically, the exact same thing I take from every Ebony developer meeting is all they wrote down there was what ways we can optimize you, and that's it. Nothing else will be changed. There will be a few little things, like last time they gave us a Wheel of Fortune where you could spin one, like, uh, what is it, a thousand at a time instead of a hundred, and that was a, that was a really good fix. But like, really, in the grand scheme of things, that didn't save us any money or improve our gameplay. But I do like when they get rid of the stuff that, uh, that uh, just wears you down all day having to do. Like right now, one thing they really should do, this is just brutal. To have to go in to advanced refining and do these sets. Like look at this. Like I'm going to have to do this and just... 50 times, I have 16, 50 times 16, over and over and over. It, it's really, really annoying. And if you have a bad connection with the game, really bad. Anyways, like, subscribe, let me know in the comments what you guys think of uh, Ebony's response.